You can get your movie monster series figures even if you're in America at Amazon Japan. Check out links in the description. Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hello there, Collector Steven here, and if you're catching this on the day of upload, welcome to the last of my Godzilla vs. Kong reviews for today. Not overall, just today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the movie monster series Mecha Godzilla. Uh, from Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. They use a lot of convoluted uh, names in the titles for this movie. I don't quite know why, but it's Mecha Godzilla 2021. Now, this was a rather stealthy release. We all kind of knew that this was coming. There were a couple of North American honest, legitimate dealers <clears throat> that were saying that this was coming, but we didn't actually have any hardcore confirmation. Now that it is out, though, it's here and it's easily attainable. And it just so happened to come out on the same day as the SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs. Kong figures. So, is this going to be something that you're going to want to get to go along with those? Or is this just going to be something that's going to hold you over until you get the Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla later this year? Let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Generally speaking, Mecha Godzilla here, it does a lot good in regards to sculpt. It does seem a little bit chunky, but that's okay. Why? Because it's a vinyl. It's not meant to be super duper hyper realistic. It's not going to be one of the Kaiju Bengaichi figures. It's not going to be one of, or the only, Master Detail Movie Monster Series releases. Why did they even do that again if they're only did one release and then they never followed up. I don't know, but it was still pretty good what we had. Anyway, for Mecha Godzilla here, the sculpt is nice. It is rather accurate for what they could do. We actually do have the pistons on this figure, but they are sculpted into the body. You can see that on the thigh at the hip area. So, hey, kudos to Bandai for making that happen. Good job, boys division. Now, in regards to paint, very similar to Shin Godzilla from many, many moons ago. The paint is rather short, sweet, and to the point. Mechagodzilla does have a lot of red on him. Uh, and we get it on the tips of the Mecha King Ghidorah-inspired dorsal plates and on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, to be fair, you're going to see me do this in the articulation section. You can pop off the leg and you can take a look inside. He's actually painted silver, so that's cool. So I guess there's a lot more paint than we anticipated, but if it's all one color and we're not really supposed to be seeing what's on the inside, does it really matter? I don't know. F tree falls in the woods. How many? How much wood could a woodchuck? Anyway, yeah. Mecha Godzilla does look good, except for the hands. They look weird. I don't know why he's making fists. They could have easily just done splayed fingers. I don't know. But yeah, Mecha Godzilla doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's pretty rock solid. Now, for that articulation, um, short, sweet, and to the point, we have swivels at the shoulders and at the hips. There's not going to be anything at the neck, and despite the fact that there are at least two glue joints in the tail, nothing, no swivels. Mm-hmm. Nada. Zip zilch. Tag. Let's take a look at the tag. Not the ancient gods, Doom fans, but tag is in the hang tag. Front of it is just going to be a rectangle. It's got that infamous picture of Mecha Godzilla curved and facing to the left. Cool. On the inside, we have that silhouette of Mecha Godzilla facing the camera. Ooh, ah. Legal information mumbo jumbo on the back. Once again, that silhouette Godzilla versus Kong. <sighs> Style guide. Yeah, that's it. All right. Here's a size comparison for you where we're going to be taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2021, Kong 2021, and the movie monster series Mecha Godzilla 2021. The Mecha Godzilla came out on the same day as the two SH Monster Arts, so there are going to be some folks who are going to want to use this as a stand-in until they get the Monster Arts or as their Mecha Godzilla figure, so it's better just to have the whole cast together. As you can see, everyone fits on the shelf just fine enough, and when you have the updated MonsterVerse family photo, yeah. That's looking pretty cool. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. 
So if you were to get this from Amazon Japan, it's going to be about 2200 JPY, $22 or so, and another $2100, $21 shipping and handling. Collectively, if you were to just go 1000 yen equals $10, you're looking at about 40 bucks. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's okay. Movie Monster series. It's pretty thick, nice detailing, paint is so so, but it has a big size to it, and quite frankly, it's not terrible as a baseline. Overall, it's a rather rock-solid figure. If you're a fan of Bandai Vinyls, this is a must-get if you're a fan of King of the Monsters or Godzilla vs. Kong. And if you like Mecha Godzilla, then yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. Relatively affordable, easily available. Go ahead and pick one up today. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.